guys welcome back to another gears 5 video today i'm going to be discussing uh, tips and tricks for the anchor class in gears 5 forward and escape so let's get started here tip number one be cautious of any enemies that are close to range of your barrier you can still be meleeed through the barrier or shot via behind or you have an enemy throw a grenade behind you that's why i think having the stim card harness energy is so valuable so you can sponge a hit and still be upright Tip number two, if the anchor goes down while the barrier is active, the ultimate does end. Now there are some glitchy scenarios or buggy scenarios where this doesn't happen, but most of the time, if you do go down, the, sh the ultimate will end. So try to make sure you distance yourself from enemies to avoid that situation. Tip number three, the harness energy skill card provides stim when any bullets are fired at the barrier shield. So super useful if you're getting mowed down by a lot of drones at once. You can pop the shield, get a lot of stim for yourself and for your teammates. And the best thing about that card is that you can receive stim and give stim to your teammates from any range. So there's no radius to the card. They can be across the map, they can be next to you, they can be anywhere in between. You can give them stim and healing as long as the barrier is getting hit. Super useful for getting shot by high DPS fire or high fiery weapons like Mulcher's, Forcer, Claw, stuff like that. Mulcher Science, really good. You get a lot of stamina and healing from that, especially. Tip number four, kind of a, an obvious one too, is the Anchor's passive also works for themselves too, as, on, as well as everybody else. It doesn't increase, it increases your damage output so you get more than 50% more damage when you shoot through it and more pistol damage. So that's what the passive does. Every class will get a damage buff when they shoot through the barrier, except if you shoot, I believe, heavy weapons. So just tip number five, the anchor is basically a secondary marksman with cards like Bullet Chain and even Adrenaline Junkie if you're running an escape. Um, they can make the anchor a really strong sniper class. As long as you chain a couple of headshots, having a long shot's are really nice because he's got critical damage perks. Or I'm saying the the Boltok is already very strong. Then you can shoot it through your barrier and then perk up the damage perk. And then combine that with Bullet Chain. You can have a very strong build. With enough stacks, you can probably two or three shot Scions and Master Horde. He's not stronger than a Marksman, but he is a really good role of being a Pistolier slash Marksman expert at both. So that's another, just another way you could play him. He's really strong. He can be a really strong sniper um, with the correct build. And if you want more information about class builds and cards like that i have a full in-depth tutorial on every class so check the channel playlist for that <laughs> tip number six final tip is the anchor isn't a class that needs a weapon locker all he needs really bloody shot bolt -out card a couple of barrier skill cards and then maybe perk your ammo regen to five given enough money you can obviously perk it to ten because you start with 36 bolt talks if you don't have the bolt talk bandolier card on which is more than enough, so you don't really need the ammo card. 36 bolt tox is enough. Just perk up the ammo regen here and there, and you'll be good to go pretty much for the rest of the game. If you do build an anchor or locker, it's probably because for snipers or tri shots, something else they can get critical damage with very easily. But the ammo regen will pretty much do them just fine paired with the barrier and the skill cards they have the anchor is pretty soul sufficient so it's just one of those classes personally as an engineer i build lockers for everybody i know the anchor isn't really a class that needs one but rather you have one than and not use it than not have one <laughs> that's just me though i mean play however you like it's definitely not a locker dependent class like demo or pilot or gunner that's pretty much tips and tricks for anchor thank you all so much for watching leave any comments below and yeah Thank you all so much for watching and you guys have a good one. See ya.